Alright, donkey. How are you? Just stick this in real quick. They've obviously been sleeping here a bit. This is the little access they have to the river. So they're probably coming up here in the evenings, going down for a drink, and then lying down here now and sleeping for the night. So it's down this little ramp here, and it's only a small little stream. They can go down there now and drink out that river. So I'm very lucky to have that. Um, they can't go up it in either direction just down there and back out of it again so there'll be no dirty in our messing inside in it now there must be a bit of a tar now you can see that frost is starting to fall off the uh, trees but it's absolutely beautiful I love the sound of that river So yeah, we're very lucky to have that. So that's the first load of cider gin here now. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven piles made out of the first trailer. So I'm gonna go now and uh, get another load. It's working out at about three of them I stand up on top of it now and squish it all down. I get three of them trailers. What size is that trailer? It's six by three and a half, four foot. Is that? One, 
two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Uh, so th one round bale of silage, uh, three of them. So they get two in the morning and one in the evening at the minute. So they're on full silage now at the minute. As I was saying the last bit there, that uh, I want to save that grass. So I'm going away this weekend down the west with the family. So I just would rather give them the grass when it's thawed out. Um, so they're on full silage now with the last, how many days is it? Three days maybe? Yeah, I split this place in two. So yeah, probably three days. This is the third day now, they're on full silage. Um, and they will be on, today's Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday, I'll move them Friday. So yeah, it'll be four days, which is the longest spell they've been on. I don't like to have them on silage for over three days because it starts to change the, their gut starts to get more adapted to the silage. And then they have to kind of convert back to grass again then. So I don't like to uh, leave them on the silage for over three days. Um, so yeah, so Friday morning I let them in. Yeah, it probably won't be tied out, but it'll be tying during Friday. And it'll do them. I'll give them enough grass down until the Sunday, because I won't be home then until Sunday. So uh, that is the story here. The weather is absolutely beautiful. I love it. The ground is hard, it's solid, so it's very easy to travel and make a no mess and I'm putting down tremendous amounts of fertility up on this hill here. So when I take the cattle off this here now, which will be on Friday, they will not be back again now until uh, until March maybe. Yeah, March. Or thereabouts. No panic. I'm not worried about it, we have lots ahead of us, but I just don't want to go through it all in that frost. So I know this year, or in a few videos ago, I said that we didn't get uh, really hard winters here in Ireland. Well, we don't normally, and this is as bad as it gets. And to me, this is not too bad. It's minus three now, it gets down to, look, at once it's freezing, it's freezing, I suppose. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. So that's the story for now. Anyhow, we'll talk again soon and uh, I'll say good luck and goodbye.